Welcome to the new lecture of the Real Analysis 1 course. Please check the description of this video to find links to the previous video, the next video and the entire playlist of this course. We shall now move on to our next uh, section, section 1.5, Cardinality. Now we have heard this term cardinality in our smaller classes. So there we have learned that cardinality of a finite set is the number of elements in that set. So cardinality of a finite set simply means the size of the sets or the number of elements in that set. So if a set has five elements, then the cardinality of that set is five. Now the cardinality of two finite sets can be compared by attaching a natural number to each set. Suppose that you have two finite sets A and B and if A has size 5 and B has size 7 then we have a natural number 5 associated with A and natural number 7 associated with B. In this section we will be discussing about the cardinality of infinite set or how we can compare the cardinalities of two infinite sets. For that first we discuss something called one to one correspondence. Suppose you have two sets A and B. We say that there is a one to one correspondence between these two sets A and B if there exists a function f from A to B which is 1 1 and on 2. So if there exists a 1 1 and on 2 function f from A to B then we say that there is a one to one correspondence between A and B. Now just to remind you, a function f from a to b is said to be 1, 1 if no two elements of a correspond to the same element of b. That means no two elements of a have the same image in b. And a function f from a to b is said to be on to if Every element of B correspond to some element of A. That means every element of B should be an image of some of the elements of A. So a one to one correspondence between the sets A and B means that there exists a function f from A to B which is both one to one and on to. Now we have a definition here. A set A has the same cardinality as B if there exists f from A to B that is 1 to 1 and on to. In this case we write A similar to B. So suppose A and B are two sets then we say that both A and B have the same cardinality or A has the same cardinality as B written as uh, A similar to B if there exists a function f from a to b which is both 1 to 1 and 1 to. In other words, we say that a and b have the same cardinality or a has the same cardinality as b or a similar to b if there exists a 1 to 1 correspondence between a and b. Now we shall see some examples. The first one let E be the set of even natural numbers, then we can show that N is similar to E. That means N and E have the same cardinality or N has the same cardinality as that of E. N represents a set of natural numbers and E represents a set of even natural numbers. Now to show that N is similar to E, we have to show that there exists a function f from N to E which is 1 1 and on 2. For this we shall define a function f from n to e by f of n is equal to 2 n. We shall now list out the elements of n and e and we shall see the relation between the elements of n and elements of e using this function. So n the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc n etc and the elements of E are even natural numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, etc., 2, n, etc. So if I find the image of 1, f of 1 will be 2 into 1 which is 2. Image of 2 will be 2 into 2 which is 4. Image of 3 will be 3 into 2 which is 6. Image of 4 will be 4 into 2 which is 8 and so on. Similarly, 
image of n will be 2 into n which is 2n. So here you can see that every element of n has different images in E. This means that the function f from n to E is 1 1. Now we will check whether this function is on 2. So look at the elements of E. Here you have 2. The pre-image of 2 is 1 which is the half of 2. The pre-image of 4 is 2 which is a half of 4. The pre-image of 6 is 3 which is a half of 3. So here going on like this we can see that every element of E has a pre-image in n which is the half of that element of E. So here we can see that E is on 2 because every element has a pre-image. So the function f from n to E defined by f of n is equal to 2n is 1 1 as well as on 2. And since this function is 1 1 and on 2 we can say that n is similar to E or n and E has the same cardinality. Now one thing to be noted here is that n is a set of natural numbers which consists of both the even natural numbers as well as the odd natural numbers. Now when you talk about the size of n, you can see that the size of n is two times as the size of E. Because E is only 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. n contains 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So n contains double as much the elements that in E. So here we get that the cardinality of n and e are same even if the size of n is double the size of e. So in the case of infinite sets, the cardinality has nothing to do with the size of the sets. So we say that two infinite sets have the same cardinality if there exists a function f from first set to the second set which is both 1 1 and on 2. So here cardinality does not have any relation with the size of a set. Now we shall see one more example. Although n is contained in z as a proper subset, we show that n similar to z. We know that n is a set of natural numbers and z is a set of integers. So n is a proper subset of set of integers. Now we have to show that n and z have the same cardinality. So even though n is properly contained in z, we have to show that n and z have the same cardinality. To show that n and z have the same cardinality, we have to show that there exists a function f from n to z, which is 1, 1 and on 2. For this, we will define a function f from n to z by f of n is equal to n minus 1 by 2 if n is odd and minus n by 2 if n is even. Now we will try to list out the elements of n. Elements of n, you can see that it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. Now we will find the images of these elements. To find n of 1 as 1 is an odd number, we have to put the value of n here. So n is 1, so you'll get 1 minus 1 by 2, which is 0 by 2, which is 0. Now, 2 is an even number, so to get the image of 2, you have to put it here. So you'll get minus 2 by 2, which is minus 1. 3 is an odd number, so you have to put it here. So you'll get 3 minus 1 by 2. 3 minus 1 is 2 by 2, you'll get it as 1. Now. 4 is an even number, so that its image will be minus 4 by 2, which is minus 2. 5 is an odd number, so you'll get 5 minus 1 by 2, which is 4 by 2, which is 2. 6, even number, so you'll get minus 6 by 2, which is minus 3. 7, odd number, so you'll get 7 minus 1 by 2, 6 by 2, which is 3, and so on. If you look at this table carefully, you can see that the image of 1 is 0. Now the image of 2 is the integer minus 1, image of 3 is the integer 1. That means 2 and 3 will give you the integers minus 1 and 1. Similarly 4 and 5 will give you the integers minus 2 and 2. 6 and 7 will give you the integers minus 3 and 3. Next 
8 and 9 will give you the integers minus 4 and 4. 10 and 11 will give you the integers minus 5 and 5. So you can see that all the integers are covered here. So as all the images of the elements of n are different, you can say that this, this function f from n to z is 1 to 1 or 1 1. Now you can see that as all the elements of z, as all the integers are generated here, you can say that every integer has a pre-image in n, which means that this function f from n to z is on to. So from this table, you can conclude that this function f from n to z defined by f of n is equal to n minus 1 by 2 if n is odd and minus n by 2 if n is even is 1 1 and on 2. So n is similar to z. That means n and z have the same cardinality. So as a recap here we can say that two infinite sets a and b have the same cardinality if there exists a function f from a to b which is both 1 1 and onto.